What up, it's your boy King Down 225 coming at you with another reactionary video. So hit that like, subscribe, become part of the kingdom. I don't know if y'all were aware of what happened over the weekend, maybe Friday, Saturday, I can't remember what day. But uh Monique called DL Hughley out on on the comedy stage. You know you always got to She was serious, fuck that comedy stage shit. But like I had mixed emotions about this. I am um, kind of sort of disappointed bro I am I I know where she coming from I hate how she did it you gotta stand up for yourself but I, I always hate when black people in fight and it become public but let's get to the video comedian Monique is lashing out at fellow comedian D.L. Hugerly over the terms of her contract especially over money you know but let's get to this first clip. First of all, I got to point out the obvious. Damn, Monique, you got some cakes for your old ass. But let me get to the point. I'm kind of disappointed. That sounds like a lot of ego. Like, I always looked at Monique as an older woman out here trying to teach the right, spread the right message to the younger ladies. Remember that goddamn um, charm school where she was trying to teach them young ratchets how to be classy? I always looked at her like, is a, a a black woman who's a trailblazer, who's also a comedian, a lot of different hats, but she wore them up motherfuckers well. Now this seems like a lot of ego. You know how you get so far as a a a, a black woman where you can stand up for something, then you, you go cross that line and it's like every fight is your fight. It's like, oh shit, here she go again with that bullshit. Like I was almost with her. If it's a contract dispute, you right. You got to write. That's what my contract say. But it's two sides of every story. My uncle taught me it's three. Your side, my side, and the truth. And for you to be, like, blast this dude on public, you know, and that's another thing. Don't, let me just play the other clip before I, I, I say the other thing. Here go the other clip. 
when when she absolutely go too goddamn far. This that masculine energy Kevin Samuel speak out. And ironically, DL Hughley had too too many nice words for Kevin Samuel. He ain't say nothing bad. But this is exactly the kind of energy Kevin Samuel was speaking on. Although this woman is married and, 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 and submissive to her husband, this masculine energy popped out. This disrespect of a black man popped out. You brought this to the stage. And then she's saying, should no man speak on a black woman? But listen how she disrespecting a black man. I just, I am really disappointed in Monique. I thought, it's like, now I seem like, I feel like you hypocritical. Maybe other people's right. Maybe you just bought the money. Maybe, let's play this shit. Because if what time you say you want to be a Y'all don't think that's too far? There was a time that a black man wouldn't take a black woman, but he a bitch nigga. He a coward. He brought up his family. I feel sorry for his wife to suck a dick of a coward. Like, whoa, Monique. It just, this is, it's, it's these two worlds that black women live in. Is the don't do it to me, but fuck it, I do it to you world. You better not say nothing bad about me, but y'all niggas ain't shit. Y'all hoes. You bitch niggas. You G-A-Y. Say, bro, I just never expected this. Like, I'm, I, my eyes is open. Like, I really held Monique to a certain style. She's defending black people. She's trying to be a class woman, traditional, you know, exposing people. Now it just seems like you're a person that's harder to get along with. You got a big ego. It seems like you over talk people now. It just, it, it, all this masculine energy. Let's go. Because at what time did black men start attacking black women? What kind of real nigga is that? That's a bitch nigga. That's a bitch nigga. What kind of real nigga would ever attack a goddamn black woman? A bitch nigga. I feel sorry for Dale Hewlett's family. I feel sorry for his motherfucking wife. Cause how do you suck the dick of a coward? I ain't gonna lie, they, especially when, uh, uh, I, I go out when a motherfucking woman say, I keep telling y'all, women, black, white people don't know the nuances of the, the N-word, nigga, the word nigga, that's why y'all should stay away from it. In those instances, if a black woman referring to me and a nigga in that manner, I am fucking offended, because she means offense. If you calling me a bitch, I don't like I don't I don't like women calling me bitch because I can't call you that. And it's a derogatory term to a real nigga anyway. You call me a bitch, and I'm like, man, bro, wish I could chop slap the fuck out you right now, but I'm restrained by my masculinity. But you can say a man ain't my what boy at one point. A woman didn't display this type of masculine energy. I would never, my grandma is one of the strongest women that I ever look up to. She's very feminine and submissive to her husband. I have never in my life heard her use the word nigga, bitch, ever. The worst she ever got was shit and, 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 and hell. Oh, hell. Oh, shit. But bitch, nigga, none of that. Especially not referring to my my, my grandfather. Now, let's go. I got to find D.L. response because he has a right to respond. Let's get his side. 
Because it's your side, my side, and the truth. Now let's hear what you got to say. shit before she start. All you have to do is check the order of names on the ticket stub from last night and you'll see who's confused. Against my better judgment over the objections of my team and four other occasions where I said no, I decided to take a chance and work with Monique. Oprah was the problem. Tyler Perry was the problem. Charlemagne was the problem. Steve Harvey was the problem. Lee Daniels was the problem. Netflix was the problem. Now it's my turn. At some point, it can't be everyone else. It's you. Lesson learned. I didn't have anything personal against Monique. People paid a lot of money to laugh. Not hear about your contract. Apparently, the role you played in Precious turned out to be an autobiography. I wonder who's next. See, he didn't take the high road. He didn't, he didn't call out her name. He didn't disrespect her. He didn't even bring this up. She did. still fuck with Monique because she be out here for the cause but I am I am I am almost hurt and disappointed in her actions like to bring that shit to the stage you always call it seems like you're always calling out black people you got a problem with black people and I do I understand I be having a problem with Uncle Tom sell out ass niggas too you know what I'm saying non-supportive ass motherfuckers who can't see me or understand me except me but come on, Monique. He was better than that. He was out here trying to do the right thing, be classy. You mm -hmm. start calling niggas bitch ass niggas and your your wife is off for your wife. Like, whoa, bro. Whoa. Whoa. I wonder what Kevin Sanders thinking out here right now. Up there in heaven. Cause y'all would like to believe he not. But I can tell you, he up there. Hit that like and subscribe, become part of the kingdom. You know, tell me what you think about this. You think she went a little too far? Calling out another black person to entertain? Who you entertaining? Now it's starting to get into the to the area of, of are you real about who you say you are? Like, damn. Like the second old dude you want, I'm a bitch ass nigga. Alright, okay. <laughs>